about that run where you switched directions, where you were headed down the hot sideline and came came back? Uh, what were you thinking? It just, uh, I just wanted to get to the end zone. And it was good blocking. Like they never stopped blocking, and I never stopped running. And I, it just ended up in the end zone. What did you see on that wildcat snap that you took took down for the touchdown? Just look for the end zone. You know, just keep looking for the end zone. Make cuts. Read the blocks and try to get to the end zone as fast as you could. Montreal, how important was it to you know come back here after after losing and then and then and you know put up the victory today? Oh man, it was it was so big because you know like losing on Thanksgiving in front of the whole town like it just took a lot out of our team man. But we knew that we had to come back, we had to play off, we had to put put that off our back. So to get this big one tonight and move on to the next level was like real big for our team. Yeah, it seemed like that third quarter was big for you guys. I mean, you were able to open up the lead. And it seemed like your defense played better in the second half. Yeah, yeah, because our, our, our coach was jammed in our heads. Like, we ha we were doing good, but we not we not doing the best that we could. And, and we're going to need to do better than what we did in that first half to win the champ. Unbelievable, unbelievable specimen. He just makes some unbelievable runs. He's done it all year. You give him a crease. And I'm happy for him. He deserves it. You know, he's a great kid. And he's having a great, great senior year. I mean, obviously, at this point, you don't care. You just want to win and move on. You know, um, obviously we talked about getting off to a quick start, and that didn't happen. You know, it's a tough way to start the game, but we bounced back after that. They just talked about Montreal. I mean, obviously he's done this all year. Yeah, he's been great all year. Yeah, I mean, Montreal's been Montreal. I mean, it's, you give him a crease. You know, I, mean, I think that's what's so important. Our offensive line has to give him a crease, and when he builds, you know, we're going to be successful on offense. Do you guys think you played better defensively in the second half? At times, I thought we were still not playing with that great energy that we need to play with in the first half. Sense of urgency, you know. And, the first drive, North Dakota was real short, and then right before the half, we can't give up that touchdown. Coach, what's going to have to happen for you guys to move on in the next round? Who won that game? Montville was up. Montville's a, Montville's a great team, you know. I mean, Montville's going to be a little different animal than what we faced tonight. You know, Hyde's still a young team. Montville's a veteran senior team with some great, great players that had a chance to see them. You know, we're going to have to play great defense, and, you know, we're going to have to bring it. Do you know anything about Monville? I know they got Tyler, Gerard, Floyd, and some great athletes. I mean, they really do. They're one of the top teams in the state, make no doubt about it. That's a great football team. What did you think when the score was 26-20? Uh, you guys were in the lead and hide me that, that run. Uh, Montreal, what was it was 26-20. And my, yeah, I mean, obviously, at that point, you're trying to make first downs. You know, it's important. And, you know, what better way to answer than Montreal to go 70 yards or whatever it was on one play.